Hi everybody! Okay, so we're back in Ethiopia. We've officially been living here for about two months and so we have one month left until we move to Thailand and so I wanted to do a week in the life and so it's Monday morning right now and I'll take you all the way through Friday. Here we go! Right now it's Monday and we're actually eating the traditional Ethiopian food called injera. It's this bread, this flat bread that has like a lot of holes in it, which is, I don't know. It's, it's fermented. It's like soft, yeah, fermented. That's a technical term. Then it's like this, my favorite is like this red sauce that they put on it. Don't know how it's made. Then on the side is potatoes and like onions. Cabbage. Cabbage. Very seasoned very well. Then what you do is I'll show you an example. You break off a piece, you pick it up with your hands like this. Bada bing, bada boom. I will now respect saving. <laughs> wow, I'm so respectful. I'm so excited. <laughs> We had a coffee ceremony, <laughs> one of those. And then we had a little time off and now we're back at afternoon ministry. Me and Jamie get the privilege of teaching Zanet. Zanet. Yes. Tell me about yourself. Okay. How old are you? Uh, me, 28. And what's your favorite color? Uh, uh black. black. Black, of yeah. course. I love you, teacher. I love you, Jamie. <gasps> oh. I love you, Ali. Oh my god. <laughs> I was first. Oh, okay. I love. She loves us. And what's your favorite subject to learn? Oh, English. English? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be learning today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and. Oh. I have. I have. Yes. So we just finished teaching Zanet. And now we're going down to the house moms to see what else the other groups are teaching. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so we had women's ministry this afternoon, um, and then afterwards I got to hang out with Red One, who was in charge of the training center for a while, and now we're headed to dinner, which is really fun. Yum! Yes. Today, so I'm on a different track than her, so we're a part of reforestation, which is basically um, gardening or anything like that. Yeah. So today, we transport transferred Trans transferred <laughs> compost that we uh, made from one side of the property to the apple orchard so that they can like grow in the grass grow, grow in the grass yeah Garden but yeah it was very come. fun and my arms are oh, feeling a little bit buffered <laughs> it's your time you're oh, no. me down i'm gonna slap you with bread oh my <laughs> god more we left? have potatoes yeah there's and so bread. much food okay, and now we're going to dinner this. The other day I was down here with my reforestation track and we were making bricks. Do you want to see how to do it? Yeah! Okay, so this is what you do. You grab a shovel and you do 16 scoops of this red dirt into this little mixer, which is basically just a big cake mixer. <laughs> so imagine making a big, that was what I kept making. Okay, anyway. Then you do 16 of those. Then you fill up this bucket, which you can't really see, this bucket to this line of cement, right? Then you throw it in there, because why not? Then you do another 16 of this red dirt. Then, while someone holds it over like this to the side, someone else is spraying water in there to like churn it. The other people just watching, making sure there's no emergency. Then, when it's all like churned and looks like cementy or yeah, <laughs> then you pour it out and then you mix it again with the shovel 
Then you come and turn this machine on, and this is when you need all hands on deck. One person's here, one person's here, two people are here. So two people are shoving, shoveling, shoveling dirt here, which usually there's like a little like box thing here that makes sure dirt doesn't fall, but that's in the shed. So you shovel it in here, then you turn it over here and it goes into here till it fills up with dirt. Then this person over here does this thing where they like push it down, then they push it up to a thousand, whatever. That's too, I'm not gonna explain it right now. Then if they push it back up and it goes up and then the brick rises, then the person here wipes off the access dirt, carries the brick, boom, ba -doom, ba -doom. and puts it stacked up here. It's all stacked, but this is basically what it looks like. I made this. This is my pride and my joy. Incredible. I'm really proud of you, Sadie. Like what we're doing right now is the bricks are gonna be used for the sanitation site that we have in the city going on because there's not a lot of showers in the homes and there's not a lot of bathrooms in the homes. So we are promoting good hygiene. <laughs> So the boys are always boasting about working out, building muscle, whatever that is. Anyway, I just found these over here, so I think this is what they use. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> these are not difficult at all. <laughs> <laughs> these boys think that they've got something going on that we don't, you know? Oh my God. It's like weightlifting. Frick. <sighs> yeah, easy money. It looks like a big, um, injera bread. I think, I think you're supposed to crawl through it. <laughs> what an idea. <laughs> what are you learning inside of the injera roll? <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning that life is full of surprises and that once in a while <laughs> you just gotta do what's not comfortable but you come out perfectly great in the end. Good morning, guys. Good morning it's from a Africa. Tuesday, it's a Tuesday. And we had pancakes this morning, so that means yep. it was already a good morning. And now, we're gonna go pick up the children, and we're gonna do arts and crafts today. And we're thinking today we're gonna do Thanksgiving turkeys. It is February, but <laughs> For them we're running out of ideas. <laughs> it's a season of gratefulness. It's a season of gratefulness. Oh, it actually is. Ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Hey, so this is my friend Fidessa, and we get to teach them in the mornings. We hang out with all the preschoolers. We teach English, we have physical therapy, today's craft day, Kalali, and yeah, we just have fun with the little ones. <laughs> Aww. We picked up all the kids for preschool. There's Miss Bree, and now we're doing arts and crafts. So, we get to hang out with all four of them. This is Rubira here. Here's Lele loves France. music. Taraje loves play fighting. Oh, then this I'll is Vanessa. Okay, we dropped off the kids. After this is my a cow. Of course. Ciao. Ciao. How's that pasta? What's up, everyone? I, uh, you know, a mini pasta here with Ellie. This actually could be, maybe, Ellie, correct me if I'm wrong. My first appearance on Ellie's vlog, so. That is the truth. Nice to meet you guys, good to see you. And uh, pasta, it's actually really good today. It's an average Tuesday. Spaghetti, spaghetti Tuesday. It's got peppers in it, which. Bell peppers, I actually like them. Interesting choice to me, but they're not bad. We're going to the market. Oh, We're gonna yeah. get oh, yeah. some dresses and pull out some money, money for Addis this weekend. Heck yeah. Welcome to the store. 
a s Ethiopian haul. <laughs> and all of it's blue. Bailey, show me the merchandise. Do you want me to hold it for you? One apple cookie. Check. What? One cappuccino. They weren't cookie. open. Oh, well. Two marindas. <laughs> They're like yeah, children. Boy. Check. <laughs> Mallory. No what you got there? I bought a dress and it came with this scarf. Fancy? A head scarf, but I can't really see, so I can't put it on right. But I'm very bougie. Oh, I like the fit. I like the fit. Let's see, let's see. Oh, oh. Naomi Campbell walk. Naomi Campbell walk. Oh my gosh. Sadie. Good morning. Go find them, okay? So close your eyes. Go get the letter. Yay! Oh, nice. So after, <laughs> after Minish, we had lunch. We had rice. It's very good. Then I tried to wash my laundry and then the water turned off. How fun. Typical. And then we had, for our chore today, we were on dishes. So we had that, which is very fun. But now we have team time, which is basically just a time where you can spend with our team. <laughs> but it changes every day. So Mondays we have Bible project. Tuesdays we have worship. Wednesdays, today, storytelling. Thursdays, debrief. And Fridays is feedback. So here we are telling our stories. And we took five years to make this coffee because the water is slow today. The great thing about living here is that each day there's something new that happens. So sometimes we wake up and the water's off. Yeah. So you can't flush mm -hmm. or brush your teeth. Some days we go in there and the power's off and the water's off and then the poor cooks have to scrounge together a meal. Um, and then today, for example, the water turned on and Ellie was trying to do laundry. Learning to live in no expectations but in expectation of God's goodness. Oh, wait. And I can, I feel like you just ended at that. <laughs> yeah. Here we come with the burn offering. A popcorn. Leviticus style, baby. Here we go. I'm feeling so bougie today because I didn't yeah. like two, yeah, two cup of coffee from uh -huh. the town. Yeah. And I'm like just eating popcorn. Mm -hmm. That's so bougie. Yeah. So bougie. And okay. Then, yeah, this Where? is my bougie brother, Mango. Mange. Yeah. He goes by many names. I'm my favorite person of nice Ethiopia. I'm a social worker. I'm like just helping people to help themselves. Respect. Respect. <laughs> yeah, messy. Women's ministry is so fun because we just get to do life with them. And yeah. We're hanging out with Messi, and HBK and I always find ourselves doing laundry, do laundry. so we love it. Ready? Oh, Let's nice. Get all of the juices. The water. The water. Yes, yes. Oh. Okay, so now since it's Wednesday, we have deep dives with Alicia Young. We're gonna start right now. And what are we learning? We're learning about Colossians 4. No, we Colossians 4. Colossians 4. Yeah. Um, what's grabbing you? What's the spirit prompting you about that? Huh? Vloggers? Or frick, they're not vloggers. <laughs> Dang it. Viewers? Viewers. Think about it. Peace. Good night. G O O D N I G H T K. Good night. You might be wondering why I'm wearing corners for the third day in a row. Because it's Thursday and I got them Tuesday. Well, to answer that question, we don't have hot water. Never. So, taking a shower is a big sacrifice and one that I rarely take. So, cornrows, keep the lice out, keep the lice out, and you don't have to wash it as often, so practical. Mary has her own way, she wears the same shirt like for a week. If, if you would love to scroll back to all the previous videos she's made ever with me and them, I will be wearing this shirt probably every time. <laughs> Pretty much. The there you have it. No, 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 no life checks on the Sabbath. No life checks on the Sabbath. I'm very passionate about that. Look, breakfast of champions. Nutella and bread. 
Nutella on bread, of course. You can't go wrong. I should have grabbed some knife. After ministry this morning, I ran and then I took a shower. So the dreads are gone and the bangs are back. And then we had this interesting lunch. It tastes a lot like bing bing, which is very good. So I'm I'm here for it. But now I got team time. Your yeah, team. Yeah. <laughs> We're here in house number one with the number one girl, Sintu. I love you. I love you. What else do you have to tell the Alex world? Is actually Smile. Okay, so Smile. besides Sintu, we have a really cool visitor here with us today. His name is Dredge. My name is Dredge. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you. How old are you? Um, almost 80. Play soccer. Oh, soccer. What position do you play? <laughs> defense. Like... Defense? Ooh, defense. Okay, so we have a defensive soccer player here from Ethiopia. His name's Dredge. He's 17 years old. If you want to recruit him, um, just, just let him know. He's very good at volleyball. He has many talents. <laughs> Terminate, terminate, renegade lemonade. <laughs> okay, so after ministry, now we're getting ready for our photo shoot with Red One. Hi guys. <laughs> Red One makes leather goods here at the training center. I'm excited to thank you guys for shooting my products. Of course. Love you. Anytime. Thanks. <laughs> this looks so pretty. Product shoot, baby. Guys, this is the best week in the life. So apparently, I'm the stylist slash going to be a model. And so far it's been kind of a rocky start, but we're not gonna let that get to us. Yeah. It's gonna be successful and it's gonna be amazing and Red One's business is going to soar. Of course. I'll be behind the camera, of course. Where else would I be? And then we have Alicia Young here as an assistant. Very helpful, she'll help us get all the products. Yeah and arrange them. We're very excited. Yes, AD. When have I not? Speaking the light at the shoot. Yeah. Oh, I should just have a bowl. Should I just do it like this? Okay. <laughs> Got all of Red Mon's products. Go ahead. <laughs> Sell them all. Oh, God. Okay, so we finished the photo shoot for Red One's products and it went really well. And now we just have a teaching at 7 and that wraps up our Thursday. And welcome to the last day of a week in the life of Ethiopia. 9 to 11 team ministry, 11 to 12 cleaning, 12 lunch, then 2 to 3 ministry with your tracks and three to four squad and children clean up unite it's your birthday we have children's ministry hey kids no can you bring them over here what are you doing sweetie okay here we are we're gonna be quiet yeah we're gonna open our ears Ears. Open your ears. And you're open your eyes. Eyes. Yeah. Eyes. And we're gonna be really quiet. We're gonna listen to the movie because it's a privilege, mean? okay? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Coffee ceremony, man. All day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> After morning ministry, we had lunch, and then now we're in the afternoon, so we're back to teaching Xanet. But today is Jamie's birthday, who is my co teacher, <laughs> and my fake birthday was on Wednesday, and so Xanet made a cake. <laughs> Look at this. How beautiful. It's huge. <laughs> oh my goodness, Xanet. Thank you. <laughs> Mwah. I love you. So cute. Aww. 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 We love you. <laughs> What do you say to the What's camera, that? Melissa? That? Uh, if camera has no listen, you say, what do you say to camera? 
Okay, what do you say to me? I love you. <laughs> okay, to close off today, we have one more photo shoot for Jamie's birthday. Woo! <laughs> We're on the vlog. Um, Mary, how does it feel to have a professional photographer on the same squad as you? I just feel honored, blessed. I think man up top needs to be a good one. It makes life a lot easier. So much easier. I'm like, Vogue. Now? Are you taking a picture now? So I always have to be camera ready. <laughs> you always have to look good is basically the gist. Yes. Yeah, it's very difficult, but convenient. It's worth it. I love her. Okay, so we finished Jamie's shoot with her team, and now we have dinner, and then afterwards we have movie night with the kids because it's Friday, um, and that ends our Friday, and that ends a week in life here in Ethiopia. Basically, every week here is a little bit different, but I hope that gave you a good reflection of what it's like here in Hope, Ethiopia um, with World Race Gap Year. If you have any questions, let me know. You can just comment below, or you can DM me on Instagram, whatever feels good. Um, just like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any other questions. See y'all next time. Bye.